Mississippi State football trying to put the Arkansas loss in the rearview mirror. Mike Leach's bunch was one of the eight top 25 teams across the nation to fall short. The Bulldogs were heavy favorites against Arkansas, ended up failing on two fourth and one attempts late in the fourth, along with losing a fumble on a punt return late as well. Despite star running back Kylan Hill likely being available this week after he only played one snap and got injured Saturday, Leach still says that this past week consisted of missed opportunities. Uh, you got to go out there and execute. You know, I think that, uh, uh, you know, they did, we didn't. And uh, we had a lot of chances that game, too. And uh, so, you know, we just have to get better. We have to be a steady, consistent team. You know, we can't uh, rest on any level of perceived success. And, and uh, you know, we, we have to be, we have to be the same team uh, every snap. And I didn't think we were. Trust in the process, uh, taking it a week at a time. It was, it was definitely a humbling experience, but we're still confident in the players we have and still still taking a week at a time towards the goal. So I just felt, I'm just kind of keeping the right perspective around and just uh, making sure we focus on the work at hand. So we'll be all right. Wayne Kiffin and the Ole Miss Rebels certainly have their hands full this Saturday, hosting number two Alabama. Kiffin and Crimson Tide head coach Nick Saban have quite the history. Lane was Saban's. Offensive coordinator in Tuscaloosa from 2014 through 2016. There's certainly familiarity there, but Kiffin says that has favored Saban in the past. Well, all these people would say it's an advantage because I worked with him, um, you know, and so uh, I don't really understand that because um, he's 20 and 0 against coaches that worked for him. So if you working for him gives you an advantage, that's uh, <clears throat> you're not a very good gambler. Then uh, you know if that's what you say because. 20 no is a pretty strong record. Uh, which, you know, we've always had a tremendous amount of respect for, you know, the job Lane did when he was here. And, you know, he's a lot of, doing a lot of the same things with, you know, obviously a lot of growth uh, in how they're doing them and uh, how they're attacking people. So they present a lot of problems. It's never too early to talk a little college baseball, especially considering the fact that the Bulldogs have advanced to the College World Series each of the past two seasons. Head coach Chris Lamona says his team is built for another Omaha run. The Bulldogs have plenty of returners, state loaded with them on the mound, specifically Christian McLeod, JT Ginn, Will Bednar, and Eric Sarantola, to name a few. The NCAA is allowing an extra year of eligibility for spring athletes because of last year's shortened season due to the pandemic. We're in shape. We've played the game enough. We got enough reps. I think over these last three weeks, I feel like we're in a good spot to really find out a lot about our team. We're being able to expand some of our pitchers. You know, we feel like from a pitching staff standpoint, um, we, we've put together maybe one of the better um, pitching staffs at, in school history, maybe. They still got to go out and prove it. Now, we have some help. We had five seniors come back and a couple high school kids jump in and uh, all COVID related, but it's a um, very talented, deep pitching staff. Let's take a quick look at the newest AP polls for Mississippi High School football. Top of 6A, Starkville, Oxford also in the uh, top five as well in that final spot. 5A, West Point at number one, no shock there. Lafayette making the cut as well. The Commodores 2-2 two and two on the season. 4A, Louisville at the top. Powercats with a strong start. 3A, Noxamie County. Coming in at number three, the Tigers coming off a big win against Houston in the 2A ranks. Calhoun City sliding in there at the five spot. And 1A, Nanawaya in first after the big Cross Creek rivalry win over Noxapater 47-6. Tupelo Christian Prep in there as well at number five. We'll have more Sunrise coming up next.